proper understanding of the Lord, why it is difficult. Here it is said in the Purport, in the Padma Purana, it is said that those who are envious and are always angry at the Lord are unfit to know the actual and eternal form of the Lord. Two very important words Prabhupada is using. Those who are envious and always angry at the Lord are unfit to know the actual and eternal form of the Lord. Now many times people, this envy is not necessarily very gross. Sometimes when you envy a neighbor, moment you see that he has bought a new car, you know, your envy or jealousy becomes very grossly manifested in our face or probably in our behavior, the words we speak. But envy to the Lord, a person may be going to the temple, a person may be so called religious, a person may be so-called God-fearing, but still, each one of us, to different degrees, is envious of Lord. In fact, that's the root cause why we are here in this material world. It is said that in the spiritual world, when the soul is envious, that why Lord is the center of all enjoyment, why He is the center of all attraction, everyone is serving Him. When that envy arises, we are in this material world to try out, okay, you also be the Lord, you also be the enjoyer. Now how is this envy, how we are all envious to different degrees? Even as devotees, it's not that we have got fully purified, we also have envy. Envy in a subtle level is manifested in the form of desire to be the center of attraction, desire to be the enjoyer. Many times we may also crave for some position, some name, some fame, some recognition. It's also one form of envy. Because name, fame, position, it makes us center of attraction. People glorify us. It's nothing but a desire to be Krishna. We want to people to notice us. It may not happen grossly. We may not grossly want big position. We may not grossly want. It may appear that we are very humble. So it requires some element of soul searching or introspection. Each one of us. We may be devotees. We may be trying our best to become devotees, but still, to different degrees, we are envious. Wanting to be the enjoyer, wanting to be the center of attraction, wanting people to glorify, feeling good when someone glorifies, feeling good when someone praises us. And this anartha is manifested in our actions. We compete. We want to be recognized as a big preacher, big collector, X, Y, Z. These are all signs of envy. And Prabhupada says, when the envy is there, when anger is there, anger also not grossly, anger with eyes burning red, no. Just like envy can be in a subtle form, likewise anger can be also in a subtle form. When that is there in our heart, we are disqualified to understand the Lord in the truth, in true form. 